Summer was great, wasn't it? Did you guys enjoy camp? Yes? Oh, that's wonderful. I loved camp. I caught up on so much sleep. <laughs> you know, I did so many... Um... Oh, E equals MC squared. <laughs> did, did I fall asleep again? Oh, well, well, I do that a lot. Well, if that happens, just yell my name, all right? My name is Dr. Salmonex. Let's practice that on three. <laughs> One, uh, two. <laughs> oh, gravity is a property that keeps things together. Oh, uh, that was perfect. Thank you all. <laughs> uh, that was wonderful. All right, so Professor Von Himmel has asked me here to the top secret science lab to work on our special fall project. Now, I don't know what it is, but Dr. Salmonex said he was supposed to send me instructions. I just don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, here they are. <laughs> the top secret. I guess I should read these. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Uh, Dear Dr. Salmonex, we have to get to work on our time travel project. Time travel, it's, it's top secret, so please don't read this out loud. Well, <laughs> uh-oh, you all didn't hear that, did you? Oh, well, just keep it to yourselves. <laughs> uh, we are working on making profits travel through time? In the Bible, prophets pointed people to God. Some of them even spoke God's words about the future. We want to learn from them, so we shall try to bring them to our time. Wow. Well, have you all ever seen a prophet before? No, no, me neither. I wonder what they look like, huh? Oh, I have an idea. We'll do some research. I know just where to get the information. Right here in the toolbox. <laughs> That's one powerful Bible. <laughs> now let's see here. This is a great story about how the prophet Elijah showed that our God was more powerful than Baal. Now Baal was a false god. Many of God's people had forgotten about the one true God and were following false gods like Baal. So Elijah said to the people, how long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, then follow him. But if Baal is God, then follow him. Now this says that Baal had over 450 prophets following him. Now that's a lot of prophets, so it's safe to say that Elijah might have been outnumbered. But how many prophets do you think that God had? A million? How many? How many? 450? No. Guess what? He only had one. And that was Elijah. So Elijah was very outnumbered. Now, I've got an idea. You all seem restless. Let, let's act this story out. Does that sound like a good idea? All right. Now, uh, I'll go over to that platform and pretend to be Baal's prophets. Now, you all follow me. All right. Now, it says that Baal had over 450 prophets, so I might need a couple of volunteers. All right, you raised your hand, and you right here. You all come on up here and join me. Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see what happens. Um, now, Elijah told the prophets of Baal to place a bull on top of a pile of wood. All right, just so happens that I have a bull. Can you place that on top of the pile of wood? Wonderful job. Okay. Um, but he told them not to light the wood on fire. Um, then Elijah told them to call out to Baal, and he would call on the name of the Lord. Now, whichever God answers by fire, he is the real God. Now, we've got to call on Baal to light this thing on fire. Uh, so now the real God knows that we're just pretending today, so that's okay. Um, here you go. Use this to yell out Baal's name. Can we do that? All right. Baal! 
Uh, can you yell it? Bail! Oh, yes, like it. Bail! All right, just like that. Now, of course, we know that Baal was never going to answer because the only true God is the God in the Bible. So Elijah teased the false prophets. He said, shout louder. Surely Baal is a god. Perhaps he's deep in thought or he's busy or, or traveling. Maybe he's sleeping and must be awakened. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> travels around the sun. <laughs> Hello. Thank you all for that very much. All right. Um, so they shouted louder to get Baal's attention. Now ready? It's Baal time. Where's that Baal? It never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When he comes, I want to wail. Baal. What do you think about that, Baal? No? Oh, okay. Oh. All right, well, we got some crickets. Now, this went on from morning until night, but there was no answer and no fire. Now, I think we're on the wrong side, so let's go back over to God's side, and I'll tell you guys what Elijah did. Now, can you grab the bull? Here you go. All right. Yes, going back on stage. Yes. Where's my other volunteer? There he is. I'm going to need one more volunteer to help us out. All right, you right there. Come on up. All right. Now you all, you cannot read that. That's top secret. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, now the first thing Elijah did was take 12. Where are you going? <laughs> okay. The first thing Elijah did was take 12 stones to represent each tribe of Israel to repair the altar. Now I've got these bricks here. Can you all build me an altar with these? Just put them right here on the table. Yeah, there you go. All right. And what was the next step? Then he dug a trench around the altar and had them fill four big jars with water and pour it on the offering and the wood. After they're done with the altar... All right, have you got it? All right, a wonderful job. That looks like a good altar. All right, put the, put the little bull on there, will you? All right, there's our altar. Now, everyone, grab a bucket. Grab a bucket. Oh, yes, there's one over there. Oh, I could have given you. All right. Um, and we're going to pour water on this. All right, so we're going to pour. All right. All right, pour. And then Elijah told them to pour again. So you pour again, yes. And then he told them to do it one more time. All right, there you go. All right, you can put your buckets back. Now, there was no way that all this wet wood could catch fire. But Elijah prayed that God would answer him so the people would know that he was the Lord and turn their hearts back to him. Now listen how God answered. The Bible says, Then the fire of the Lord fell and burned up the sacrifice, the wood and the stones and the soil, and also licked up the water in the trench. Wow. The Lord has proved himself to be the one true God. Let's hear it for God and for my volunteers. They did so wonderful. Have a seat. Wonderful job. All right. All right, I never knew that the prophets were so exciting. <laughs> well, I guess I got to work on our time travel project if we want to bring even more of them here. <laughs> well, speaking of time travel, look at my wrist. It's time to go. I'll see you all next time, kids. <laughs>